Statistics is one of the most important skills required by any data scientist today. It is a very broad domain and it can take months to study. To simplify the learning process, let's discuss about the foundational statistical concepts which you need to learn in order to build your career in the domain of data science. To start with, let us take our first step that is descriptive statistics. Descriptive statistics helps to describe the data in a quantitative way. It is subdivided into different types. The first one is mean. Mean is simply the average of all data points found by summing up all samples and dividing it by the number of samples. Mean is universally used for various purposes such as calculating the per capita GDP of a country. According to World Bank, in 2016, India's per capita GDP, 1,852 US dollars, which shows that an average Indian produces goods worth 1,700 US dollars every year. The next type of descriptive statistics is median. Median is the exact middle value when all the values are ordered. Median is used for various purposes like reporting incomes. According to the salary survey of 2016 and 2017, the annual median salary per capita in India is 616 US dollars, which means half of the total Indians get an income less than 616 dollars per year and the other half above that. Next, we have mode. It is the most frequently occurring value in a range of values. For example, while deciding which YouTube video to watch, you usually choose the video with the maximum views. The number of views is actually the frequency and the video with the maximum number of views is the mode among all videos. Coming up to standard deviation. It is a quantity which tells us how much the values deviate from the mean value. For example, in cricket, we usually compare batsmen by their averages, that is, their mean scores over their careers. But this tells only part of the story. The consistency of a batsman is shown by the standard deviation of his high scores. Moving on to covariance. It is a measure of the joint variability of two variables. It is positive if one variable increases with increase in another variable and negative if the one variable decreases with the decrease in another variable. You might have heard that as economic growth increases, stock market returns tend to increase as well. These variables are said to have positive covariance because they move in the same direction. You may also hear that as world oil production increases, gasoline prices fall. These variables are said to have negative covariance because they move in opposite directions. Lastly, we have confidence interval. It is a measure which is used for quantifying the confidence in the outcome of an experiment. For example, a shoe shop only keeps sizes between 2 to 11 as they are aware of the most common sizes from past purchase records. So, size 2 to 11 is a confidence interval for shoe sizes. All these important parameters of descriptive statistics are used to understand and provide simple summaries about the data.